Compared to other munition categories, mortar projectiles are typically relatively short with a distinctive teardrop shape. Common mortar projectiles range from 37 to 156 centimeters in height and 60 to 240 millimeters in nominal diameter. The key parts of a mortar projectile are typically the fuse, the explosive payload, the obturating rings, the ignition or propellant cartridge, the propellant charges, and the fins, which stabilize the mortar during flight. The tail assembly is the most distinctive part of mortar projectiles, with flash holes and a characteristic fin structure. Additional propellant charges can be attached and detached on the mortar's tail, increasing the firing range. Such projectiles are fired from guns known as mortars. Mortar guns can be carried by crew, towed on wheels, or mounted on vehicles. In all cases, the main components remain the barrel, the base plate, and the bipod to adjust the elevation and angle of the projectile. The munitions are loaded into the muzzle, with a crew of at least two usually needed. When the tail end of the projectile reaches the base of the tube, the ignition cartridge strikes a fixed firing pin. This sets off the propellant charges, accelerating the projectile towards a target. In flight, mortar projectiles typically follow a ballistic trajectory, providing indirect fire at high angles. Their range varies significantly with caliber and gun design, but can be as little as 50 meters to more than 9,000 meters, making them a short-range weapon compared to artillery guns. They can be used in large volleys of up to 30 rounds per minute. Mortar projectiles typically have a lethal radius between 35 meters and 75 meters and can cause widespread damage to an area, whether it be a military base or a civilian neighborhood.